Now then, um, this is a brief repair video. Now, we've got a dehumidifier here, and this was recycled at least 10 years ago, and it's been working well. But I've noticed it's been getting warm, and the output of water has been reduced. Now, we use these for two basic reasons. One, to keep places dry, and secondly, wherever it's a non-dusty environment, we save the water to put in the, um, the storage batteries, because effectively it's distilled water. So um, anyway, it's misbehaving, and I'm virtually sure I know what's wrong with it, and I'll say now that the majority of the times when a dehumidifier gets warm, and the water output goes down, it's the fan bearings that have dried up. And they're normally oil light -like bushes, and the fan seizes up, but because it's such a small motor, it doesn't burn out. So you can take it all apart, put some oil on the bushes, soak them for a while, and it's all back to normal again. So let's have a look. So this uh, particular model is quite user friendly in so much as the whole unit comes out of the front of the case and there's a few screws that hold it in place. So that's great. Makes a lot of difference and there are three wires that disconnect and I've just made a note of where they go. So here's the, the whole unit, there's the compressor and when this was running yesterday you could hear the compressor running um, but you couldn't hear the fan and you couldn't feel any draft and if you put the fan on high speed it made no difference. So that's a bit of a clue, here's the fan. I'm just going to flip this. Normally it would spin like mad. And you can see the bushes have uh, tightened up. So it looks like, I've not had this one apart before, but it looks like those three nuts there undo those and we should be able to ease the fan out sideways, which is amazing. And uh, I'm just looking at the wire that comes there and it goes down there and there are some bits of tape there. So it might very well be that I've been here before. But uh, let's investigate. So I've taken those two out and they're actually in, they're not in holes, they're in slots. So let's just see uh, how we get on. Right. This is where you start getting trouble. There are clips here that hold this top piece on. And uh, sometimes it's a struggle to get the fan out, as it looks like the case at the moment. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just see if we can see. Yes, that was a bit of a struggle, but we got there. Now, there's a funny little clip-tight nut here. We undo that, take the fan off, and then we need to take the back of the motor off to be able to get to that oil light bush in there. 
I mean you could drill a hole in that but then it will make the the bush dry up quicker so um, I'll just get that off I think a pair of pliers will do the job there so we just undo that and then the fan comes on so that's out of the way then we can get to these nuts here and then hopefully you see that runs through to there so we undo those and pull the back off now you might have to tap it and do all sorts of things because uh, it's a bit greasy and gummy and sticky but uh, let's see how we get on so I just sat this on the bench right and let's just oh well, that's not so bad I've known a lot worse okay let's just have a look at that so there's the motor see a shaft there and the coils of the motor look fine uh, if they were burnt out they'd be blue and there's a bearing and it's just a self-aligning oil light bush just with a hole in there so we'll oil that up and we'll oil the front bearing as well and put her back together so there's the front half and if you notice let's see if we can get some more light on there if you notice on that pulley flange there looks like some grip marks so I suspect that bush flange threads on there so I'm going to put the the rotor so I'm going to put the rotor in the vise gently and remove that fan mounting flange so I can get to the front bearing So actually, holding the rotor and that mounting flange, it just comes off. And it's not threaded on, it's a push fit. And then, I'm just pushing the whole thing out of there. So I'm going to oil that. And that shaft is really sticky, so I'm going to clean that shaft up. So I've got a bit of carb cleaner here. Can we see what's going on? We can. So let's just... clean that up. I can't remember whether I remember to switch the camera on or not. I wonder if that... is a seal behind there. I think it is. So let's put the rest of the motor together and those holes seem to line up then I'm wondering if that goes in there and then that goes on there as a seal that looks about right then the bolts went from the back through to the front and then you just have to turn things ever so gently just to get them in line so 
So I'll just get on with that because it's as fiddly as a fiddly thing. So that's the motor back together. I'm wondering whether I can get this little nut thing on after I've uh, put the motor in place. So let's just try that. In the past I have had to, with different models, unclip these clippy things and take half the enclosure off, which is a bit tricky. Yeah, the more you take apart, the more you've got to remember how it goes back together. As it is, I've got to put the fan motors back fan motor cables back on but luckily I made a little note of where they went okay let's plug her in and away it goes and I can feel a bit of draft So we'll just let it run and see how we get on.